I'm about to do something that will change me and my life forever. I'm going to a clinic in Belgium to have some major surgery. The surgery is to remove hormonal bone that's created whilst you go through a male puberty. It's pretty invasive stuff, taking my face off of its skull temporarily and then filing it down. It sounds crazy, like, when I say it out loud. Like a lot of trans people, I have gender dysphoria, an uncomfortable mismatch between the sex I was born into and my gender identity. I can be walking past a shop window and catch myself or look at myself in the mirror and just think, who the fuck is that? I began to transition when I was 24 years old. I started female hormones and injections to block testosterone. And over the next three years, I developed a more womanly body. Oh my God. Now I'm changing my face. Hey. Hello. Hi, Monroe. So it's a long journey. This surgery isn't to make me more beautiful, it's to put my mind at rest. There's certain characteristics of my face which are masculine, and I don't identify with the masculine characteristics of my face. I'm not going in there with a picture of Beyonce. I'm going in there just wanting to look like me. This is one of the few clinics in the world that offer this procedure. The operation that I'm having costs around £7,000. Not all trans women could afford this, so I know how lucky I am. Here's the mirror, so you can have a look. I'll start shaving this bone here. Mm -hmm. So the, the orbital rims with a saw. With? A saw. OK. Browbosking has been reduced. Uh huh. And I forwarded the chin a bit. Right. That's so exciting. Okay. Thank you. <gasps> Shut up. It's even better on in print. It's kind of like looking at myself for the first time because I've never seen my face like this before. Monroe. It's okay, it's okay. You're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be fine, okay? Thank you. Good. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. It's in their hands now, really. I think this is the bit that is the most scary. Because it's just before I'm gonna go under. So we're going we're gonna to tell the anesthesiologist that you're here and then he will come uh, to get you here. Yeah. You're doing great. You're so courageous. You're so brave. The next morning, I'm in severe pain and can barely move. I'm just not going to look in the mirror because I did have that feeling like, what have I done? I feel awful. Um, so I'm going to try and sleep off this nest and then see how I feel a little bit later. I keep thinking, was it all really worth it? Um, I just want to fast forward, like, a couple of weeks. A good few weeks. It took just three weeks for my new face to emerge. In the, in the countryside. Under the streets. I finally look like myself, like my idea of a woman. Just walking down the street and not even thinking about people drawing assumptions. I feel such a calmness now. I feel like my life has been changed. It was life-changing. 